The Island Love Song by Emma Cowell, published by Avon, and I listened to this as an audio book, uh, beautifully narrated by Kristen Atherton, um, and it is set on Hydra, and I learnt that it is in fact Hydra in Greece, I've always thought of it as Hydra, so it's great, I've learnt something. Um, and this is a really nice novel that really transports you to the island, in fact there are the odd chapters which are the island reflecting on the activities of the humans as the island kind of observes things unfolding. This is essentially a story of family and within the family are Ella and Georgia, their sisters, and they have come to the island to scatter the ashes of their mother. Um, Georgia has also brought her daughter Phoenix and Georgia has also basically booked them into a five-star resort you know, just a little bit away from the island, they have to take a boat to get there. And they will be there for two weeks, kind of trying to get on. Now, Georgia has settled into her life, which, uh, you know, is quite wealthy. She's married to Oliver. It's not a great relationship. Ella, meanwhile, uh, in the late 1990s, um, was involved in a very deep and loving relationship with Harrison, um, but he ghosted her and she has never really got over that. And she is always reminded of Harrison because he has turned into an incredibly successful um, musician and so his songs are often played on the radio so she can't in a way um, escape him but he's always there in the background she's never really had another relationship because she's not really moved on from that one um, and so the two women are sort of very very different and this is their story of, you know, getting together, falling out, getting together and resolving some incredibly difficult issues that, uh, well, secrets, I guess, that uh, begin to pop up. Um, they uh, have a really strong connection to the island because their mother had a little house there and in fact Ella was born on the island. And so, you know, there is a lure to kind of go back, revisit uh, their history, because they spent a lot of their childhoods there. Um, but the secrets start to overwhelm them. And I really, I really enjoyed this novel because, um, you know, it has a really good sense of place. And I think, you know, the way uh, the family is described and the big family secrets uh, evolve, um, you know, is really well handled by the author. You know, they, they do affect each family member in different ways and um, I really enjoyed going back to my audiobook uh, to pick up the story once again and then when it got to the end I felt, you know, um, this had been a well written and well composed story. So if you're looking for something that is set on Idra um, that will transport you to Greece then The Island Love Song by Emma Cowell is certainly one to consider for your TBR pile.